In today's video, I'm going to guide you through the process of calculating the stray capacitance matrix in COMSOL multiphysics. And also, I've got some exciting news about the COMSOL files from this tutorial series that you won't want to miss, so make sure to stick around till the end. My name is Mohammed, and if you're new here, welcome. If you've been following the channel, you've already know we've discussed how to calculate the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor in previous videos. But today we are diving into a more advanced concept, the stray capacitance matrix, also referred to by other names such as Maxwell capacitance matrix, parasitic capacitance matrix, or mutual or coupling capacitance matrix. If you'd like to refresh your understanding of the theory behind the stray capacitance, I've got a dedicated video on that as well. You can find the link to it above or in the description below. Now let's get started by opening console, head over to the model wizard. I'll select 2D because today we're calculating the stray capacitance matrix between three phase conductors in the air and I'm drawing a cross section of those conductors in 2D. We use the module electrostatics under the ACDC. And for this, the stationary study is sufficient. Click on done and open your model. I've already created the geometry for this model to save time. It's simple. Here's what I have. The ground is at the bottom and above it you will find three phase conductors placed at the same height. Surrounding the conductors is air and these are infinite element domains serve to simulate a large surrounding area. If you're not sure how to add these infinite element layers, check out my previous video on this topic for the step-by-step -step guide. To assign these layers as infinite element domain come here under the definition right click select infinite element domain and add these domains to your infinite element domain and you don't need to change the type of your infinite element domain for the materials we only need air which surrounds the conductors that's because we're excluding the conductors from the simulation. As we've discussed before, the conductors won't be part of the simulation. They won't have any material properties applied to them, but the air has the epsilon r of 1 and that is sufficient for our material section. Let's now move to the electrostatic settings to define our boundaries and conditions. First, exclude the three phase conductors from the simulation. Let me do this like that. We don't need them. Next, we need to set the out-of-plane thickness. It is set to 1 meter by default, which means each conductor is 1 meter long out of the surface. Therefore, the capacitance will be the capacitance matrix per meter. So all elements will be expressed, for example, in picofarad per meter. If you want to calculate the capacitance per kilometer, you can change it to, for example, 1000 meters. Make sure to check this option, use manual terminal sweep, because it's mandatory for our simulation and also this exact name terminal name is very important to us because we need to define a parameter with the same name to do so I just copy this term come here under the global definition parameter and paste it here therefore I would have a parameter with the name terminal name I set its value to 1 and nothing else is needed for the parameter section in the electrostatic we need to define the ground right click on electrostatic and click on ground boundary condition at these boundaries we also need to define each conductor as a terminal right click on electrostatic choose a terminal the terminal name is set to one it's okay but we need to change the terminal type to voltage and set the voltage to 1 volt. Don't forget to select your first conductor here and we also need to define the second and third conductors as terminals. Right click on terminal 1, click on duplicate. We have now another terminal. The name has been automatically set to 2. Terminal type is kept as voltage. Clear your selection and select the second conductors and please do the same for the third terminal and therefore we have our terminal number one 
terminal 2 and terminal 3. Make sure that the terminal name be 1, 2, 3. Our settings in electrostatic is finished. Any type of mesh is okay for our simulation. However, in the study, we need to add a parametric sweep. Right click on the study, add a parametric sweep. This is where we'll energize each terminal one by one. And for each terminal, the other conductors will be set to zero volt, allowing console to calculate the capacitance between all three conductors. Here click on add parameter, we have only one parameter, click on range, we want to start from terminal 1 and one by one reach to terminal 3. Click on replace and everything is now in place, right click on study and click on compute. Once the computation is complete, you will see the electric potential for the first conductor is now 1 volt, while the others remain at 0. If you change your parameter value, for example, to 2 and plot it again, you can see now that the second conductor is energized and the other one is set to 0. It's very easy to get the straight capacitance matrix. Just right click on drive values and click on global matrix evaluation. Here, click on replace expression under electrostatics, terminals, Maxwell capacitance. You have only one option, Maxwell capacitance. Just click on it. I set the value to pico farad and click on evaluate don't forget to change your data set the data set should be the parametric sweep i clear my table again and click on evaluate and you can now see the elements of our maxwell capacitance these are partial capacitance of our system in picofarad per meter because we set the out of plane thickness to one meter. This is for example a C11, this is C12, C13 and so on. Please notice that the diagonal elements are positive while the off diagonal ones are negative. For a deeper understanding of what this matrix means and why its elements is so, be sure to check out my other video on the top. And that's it for this tutorial. As a token of appreciation to all my subscribers, I'm offering free access to all the console project files from this series. It's simple. Just subscribe to the channel, like this video, and send me an email with a screenshot of your subscription and like as a proof. You will then receive a Google Drive link where you can download all the files at once. Plus, as I upload new tutorials, I'll keep adding the relevant files to this folder so you will always have everything you need to follow along. I hope this makes your console learning journey even smoother. Thanks so much for your support and stay tuned for more exciting tutorials.